I want to remind everybody, Barack Hussein Obama mm, 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 campaigned for president. He ran as the man who could fix our economy. That was the whole point of his campaign. Has anybody forgotten this? In 2007, 2008, Barack Obama ran on the basis he could fix the economy. Now, three and a half years in, and I don't need to detail you the decay, the destruction, the deterioration, the plummeting aspects of our economy. You all know that. Now, what are we told? Nobody could have. And he needs another three or four years to do it. And no matter how hard he worked and how much he cares, there's nobody else who could have done it either. And we're told that that explanation has convinced a majority of Americans to support Obama because there's nobody else that could do it. And there's nobody else that cares as much. And there's nobody else who'll work as hard. I guess while playing golf and basketball and bowling and campaigning. It's amazing. You know, Castro, he'd been working on his economy for 50 plus years now. Fidel Castro was never able to fix Cuba's economy. And you know what he blames it on? He calls it the blockade. But it's the embargo. Fidel Castro hasn't been able to fix his economy. And his economic policies mirror Obama's, or, well, Castro's older, I should say, Obama's mirror Castro's. I'm sure the Cubans think, well, this guy just needs a little bit more time. You know, he really cares about us. This Castro guy does. He, he, he fought a revolution for us. Why, he risked death for us here in Cuba. And he really, there's nobody could have. Batista could have done any better. Marti could have done any better. Hell no, Castro's the only guy who could have done it. But they say in 50-plus years, Castro hasn't been able to fix it. Do you know, you know that Barack Obama is going to inherit a worse economy than he inherited the, the, the first time around? And then what is he going to do? Here we got the entire media and the Democrat Party. Now, you know, he inherited, he inherited this mess. I mean, it was worse than anybody knew, and nobody told the truth about it. And he's worked hard, and he really cares. A Clinton bump, Clinton bump. That's where Clinton told everybody that nobody else could have done any better either. And there's nobody that cares any more than Barack Obama. Nobody works any harder. Michelle told us that. No, no, Barack, that's all. He reads letters from the starving every night. He reads letters from the thirsty every night. And he said, Michelle, look at what's happening to people. We can't let this go on. We've got to fix. After three years in office, Michelle, look at what are you? Look, look at what this person is still hungry. Michelle, we got to do something. That's what she said in a sentence in, in her speech at the convention. And people ood and odd. <sighs> but it turns out now that Barack Obama is going to inherit an even worse economy the second time around. Now, what, what is the excuse for that going to be?